that every time it cycles, it goes on and off. So I can patch it into one of my gates over here and then create more complicated patterns. So the primary bit is this IC, which is a 4017 decade counter chip. And that basically gives all the stepping. That clocking goes directly to the count pin. There's a reset pin, and the reset pin goes to the center pin on the selector, and then basically it's another wire going to every step after the step you want to loop at. And then there's a series of 10 pins on there. I've only used eight of them, and it will count to 10, but I only count to eight. And that's all that chip does. And then each of those basically count the LEDs. And then off the LEDs, I pull another line off and go to each of these 4066 chips. And the 4066 chips are only a, um, they're basically like a set of four relays, except they're IC relays. So the, basically each one of those are triggering a relay, and those relays are what in turn dump the voltage through these pots, and that's the voltage out. So I've got uh, approximately six volts going through it. Should be five total, but you know, I'm still fooling with it. If I want to do a short burst, just a trigger, which is triggered off of what's coming out of the IC and off of the clock, I can shorten that burst to a trigger, which means it turns a positive voltage on and then it necessarily grounds it. And that grounding is what enables you to do triggers on drum machines and stuff. So it's a little smarter. And that's, that's all it is. I got one last jack to put on it and that's for the power.